The epic love of Jesus Christ, the amazing love of Jesus Christ, part seven, just a Jesus evangelistic campaign, day 202, John 13 verse three, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he was come from God and went to God, he riseth from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself after that he poureth water, after that rather, he poureth water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, doest thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. And Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus saith to him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit, and ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him, therefore said he, Ye are not all clean. Holy Father God, we praise you and we thank you for your epic love your everlasting love, your mercy, and your grace. We don't deserve it. And we thank you for your amazing favor, your amazing grace upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this passage of your holy word. For it shows us so much, it teaches us so much. And it shows the difference of those who have trusted you as, as Savior and those who have not. Uh, for certainly Judas betrayed you, which is worse than what Peter did. But Peter denied you three times. Yet, you knew he was going to do that, and yet you knew that he was still washed and clean. He was still your child. And both did bad things. But one believed in you, Peter, even though he tried to rebuke you twice. And the other did not believe in you, Judas. And Lord, we wonder tonight that, that as you washed his feet, you were trying to still uh, reach him. Lord, we don't know, uh, but we thank you for sharing this with us. Help us to get from it what you want us to get from it. And Lord, even if you should tarry your coming 10 years from now, as these messages are being recorded in multiple ways, that somebody else would get something from it as well. For your glory, your praise, and honor. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Bless the people who are gathered all around the world right now, listening to me in multiple languages in every country of the world. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. You may be seated.
Ladies and gentlemen, Max Licato said, Our Savior kneels down and gazes upon the darkest acts of our lives, our sins, our faults, and our failures, the nastiness of our lives. But rather than recoil in horror because of his holy eyes, he reaches out in love, mercy, grace, and kindness and says, I can clean that up if you want me to. And from the basin of his grace, he scoops a palm full of mercy and washes our sin away. Amen, somebody. And now, some of us who are full of selfishness, we don't like it when God washes away by His grace the sins of somebody else, particularly somebody who has sinned against us. But we love it when God reaches down in His basin of grace to wash our sins away. Because when He washes the sin away, He washes the painful guilt away. Amen, somebody. This is why God has taught us that when we ask for forgiveness, we need to be willing and ready to forgive others. When we ask for grace, we need to show grace. And we have a whole lot of Christians who love to hear about grace. They smile when they hear about God's amazing grace and His love and mercy. Uh, but they frown, the upside down smile, when uh, it's time to show grace that same grace, mercy, and love to others. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we continue looking at the exchange between Jesus and Peter. Uh, as Jesus is washing the feet of his disciples, uh, Peter expressing a sentiment that we are sure belonged uh, to all of the disciples, declares that Jesus will never wash his feet. My Lord and my Master, the Christ, the Messiah, Emmanuel, God with us, God in the flesh, will never. God forbid it that you would wash my feet. You will never see my stinking feet. And Peter meant well. Some of us would have said the same thing, probably would have begged Jesus not to do that out of respect for him. But when Jesus tells him that he cannot be a part of him, that is a part of Jesus and his salvation unless he is washed. There's two things going on here. I do believe. One is, of course, as we will see, he's dealing with salvation. The other thing is, Peter, you have to be reminded that I am the Lord. Yes, I am the Master. I appreciate your respect that you're trying to show me, but I am the Lord and Master here, as I have told you in the past, uh, you don't get to tell me what I'm going to do. I, I appreciate your trying to honor me and respect me. Uh, but I know what is best. And what I'm doing now, you don't understand it now, but you'll understand it by and by. And out of all of the disciples in here, you need to get this object lesson uh, probably the most. And so Peter changes his tune. Now he says to Jesus, uh, he wants Jesus to wash him all over. To take the uh, hand and the rag or whatever he had to take uh, the basin of water that he is using. And instead of just washing his feet, uh, to wash his hands and his head. But Jesus explains that that kind of washing, spiritually speaking, had already been done. 
had already been taken care of. You already have believed in me. And besides all that, it would be a, a mess up in here for me to do all of that to you. So just let me wash your feet. Because Peter, flawed as he was, had placed his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as the Messiah, the Lamb of God who took away the sins of the world. He didn't understand all of that then. God in the flesh, the Lord and Master. He did not need to be washed all over. He was already clean. He was already cleansed. He was already, if you will, a member of God's family through Christ. However, even as a saint, he sometimes failed in the sin and sometimes messed up badly. <clears throat> Just like we have, all of us. He was about to have a huge mess up when he would deny Christ three times as Jesus was on trial. Jesus is preemptively letting him know that it is going to be okay. Not that Jesus wanted him to do that. But he knew he was going to do that. Even though he would dirty his feet, Jesus will be there to wash his feet and cleanse him, if you will, his feet again. And restore their fellowship. Beloved, the same goes for believers today. Although we are saved, we can mess up our fellowship with God and oftentimes we do sad to say if we have unconfessed sin in our lives you can think of our relationship with God as a radio signal if you will that travels across the airwaves from heaven to our hearts sin in our lives becomes interference in the radio signal it does not cancel out our relationship, but it does interrupt our fellowship. The only fellowship is through confession. The only way, rather, uh, to restore fellowship is through confession and repentance. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It is also the believer's responsibility to invest in his relationship with God through prayer, Bible study, church attendance, fellowship with other brothers and sisters in Christ. All of these things have a cleansing effect on the Christian's life and help <coughs> keep sin out of his life. Dr. Warren Worsby said, The Lord cleanses us through the blood of Christ. That is, his work on the cross and through the application of his word to our lives. The water of the word can keep our hearts and minds clean so that we will avoid the pollutions of this world. But if we do sin, we have a loving advocate in glory who will hear our prayers of confession and repentance and forgive us of our sins. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Beloved, Jesus' exchange with Peter also includes a cautionary tale, especially for those who think the good works above are what constitutes salvation. Jesus tells Peter, He that is washed needeth not wash again, except to wash his feet, but is clean every whit, completely clean of sin, but not all. John adds, for he knew who should betray him, therefore said he, ye are clean, 
but not all. There was one among the disciples who had not had the full, if you will, body wash that we spoke of earlier. He has not been cleansed through the blood of Christ because he refused to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He was one of those church members who they're only in it for themselves. They come to church with a pocket full of business cards trying to uh, build up their insurance business or their little uh, internet business they found online. Uh, some multi-level garbage. They're there just to make money and make merchandise of the people. They're not there to worship God. They're not there to worship Christ. They're there to get money or to steal the money. Sometimes they're in the pulpit. Sometimes they're on the deacon board and the deacon and the board needs to be put on the deacons. Judas Iscariots in the church. They don't believe in Christ. They don't trust Christ as Savior. They're only in it for what they can get. They're wolves in sheep's clothing. They're wicked as the devil. And they may have shining great gifts and leadership abilities and they'll look like they got it going on and they look the part. They know how to say the right words, but they're Judases, phonies, and fakes. But notice how Jesus treated him. He still washed at the feet of Judas. Je Judas had not believed on Jesus Christ as the Son of God and his, uh, as his own personal Savior. That is why Jesus said, ye are not all clean. See, when you're saved, you're already clean. Even if you mess up, you're still clean in every wit. You just need to get your feet washed. You need to get your dirty feet washed. You do that by confessing your sins and repenting and getting your heart right with God and praying and reading the Bible and fellowshipping with the saints. Amen, somebody. If Judas was not clean like the other disciples, then why did Jesus wash his feet? The answer is we do not really know. But what we do know is that Jesus' washing of Judas' feet did him no good because he had not been washed all over. Uh, I would venture to say uh, because Jesus is the chief evangelist of all evangelists. He was trying to win Judas to himself. He was giving Judas another chance. That's the kind of love that Christ has for all of us. He was, that is, Judas was still an unbeliever and had not been cleansed from his sins. He was unclean. Even now as he sat at the table with the other disciples. And you got some Judases sitting at your table. Pastor. Bishop. And you let them sit there. Uh, and uh, you know they're Judases. And you are letting the wheat grow with the tares or the tares grow with the wheat. We understand what you're doing, but keep your eyes open because Judas will stab you in the back or he'll kill you with a kiss. You better keep your eyes on Judas. Uh, his wicked, evil heart has a million plans to betray you. And this wicked Judas knew how he was going to betray Jesus. And when he came up to Jesus, Jesus said, Judas, you betray me with a kiss of all things. Satan was putting plans in his wicked heart that he would soon carry out. I guarantee you that Judas had a duping the light grin on his face 
while Jesus was serving him and washing his feet. For he had already made up his mind that he was going to betray the innocent blood. The man that he had followed for three and a half years and he knew this man had never done anything wrong. Unfortunately, beloved, there are many people like Judas in the church today. They take part in the foot washings, the prayer meetings, the Bible readings, the church attendance. They might even show up for SOS, Saturday of Soul Winning, but they have never been born again. But they have never believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. They have never received the full body washing that is needed to be saved because they have never trusted Christ as Savior. How about it, dear Christian friend, church friend? Are you a Judas in the church? get saved today how about it uh, dear friend you're passing by and you you know there's a bunch of hypocrites in the church but you still want to get your soul saved if you do not receive the full body washing all the foot washing in the world will not help you all the church membership in the world will not help you all of the baptismal pools you've been in will not help you You will still bust hell wide open if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The foremost question then is, beloved, have you been washed clean in the blood of the Lamb? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in his grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garments that are stained with sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you ready to be washed in the blood of the Lamb tonight? Are you ready to trust Christ as Savior? Are you ready to stop being a fake church member and truly believe on the Lord Jesus Christ tonight? Well, the Bible says very simply, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou you shalt be saved. Jesus Christ said himself, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, perish were in hell, but have everlasting life. In order to be saved, you have to realize that you are lost. You have to realize that you are a sinner. For the Bible tells us we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. In order to be found, you have to acknowledge that you're lost. And all you have to do, once you understand that, that you're not saved and you need a Savior, is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for your sins, was buried and rose again. And then pray and ask him to come into your heart and save your soul. And he will save you. If you're willing to trust Christ as Savior tonight, please pray with me. Follow me in a short prayer. Mean it from your heart, believing in your heart that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose again. Holy Father God, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. Lord, I have been a Judas myself because I have never trusted you as Savior. 
I've just been going through the religious motions. I know what to do in the church and I know what to say in the church, but I know deep down in my soul I'm a traitor. And that I am not born again, I am not saved. So for Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of being a Judas against you. Forgive me of my sin of being a traitor against you. As I now believe with all of my heart in you, Lord Jesus, that you died on the cross for my sins, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and help me to be the Christian that you want me to be. Help me to repent of all of my sins past and to follow you in the new life. In Jesus Christ's name I pray and for his sake, amen. Uh, dear friend of mine, if you believed in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again, allow me to say congratulations on doing the most important thing in life, and that is trusting Jesus Christ as your Savior. Judas did not do that, but you did it tonight, and you have been washed clean. And uh, so from this point on, serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Love him back, be obedient to him, and be faithful to him. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read my pamphlet, What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. Jesus Christ said in John 10, 9, I am the door, by me of any man into in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture.